Hello, welcome to the Thursday, December 6, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And we got familiar news from Adobe today. Adobe released an update for Flash. That's the second out of order sort of update that they are releasing in a row. The last one was two weeks ago. This update fixes two vulnerabilities, one of which is already exploited in the wild in targeted attacks. So nothing really to be too excited or concerned about. There is no widely available exploit available for this vulnerability. It's used in some limited targeted attacks. So you probably have a couple of weeks to either patch or finally uninstall Flash. But as usual, if you do run Chrome, if you do run Microsoft Edge and in Explorer 11, then of course Flash is included in the browser and you have to update the browser in order to protect yourself. If you have one of these browsers, at the very least set them up so they will ask for permission to run any Flash content and not just run it automatically. And Apple today released updates for its entire product portfolio. The one missing item here was actually watchOS. No update for watchOS today, but everything else was updated, including iCloud for Windows. As usual, a lot of overlap here between these different updates for different operating systems. WebKit vulnerabilities, they're typically exploited via the browser on these various platforms. Also a number of approach escalation vulnerabilities. I did see a patch for one Spectre variant pop up for Mac OS and OS 10. These updates go back to High Sierra on the OS 10 side. This update also addresses a lock screen bypass vulnerability that was released and made public just after the last update came out. And it has been over the last couple updates of a little bit of game where there was a release of a new lock screen bypass just after another patch was released. Haven't seen anything yet today, but uh, yes, uh, that may still happen. In general, uh, with these lock screen bypass vulnerabilities, the best you can do is to allow as little as possible to happen on the lock screen. And iOS is quite configurable here to allow you to have certain functions accessible via the lock screen or not. So just limit this and this will prevent most of these lock screen bypasses. Now, as far as watch OS goes, I would still expect an update within the next couple days, but there is also a major feature update expected here with the EZG feature. So that may have delayed the release of this update a little bit. Typically, yes, uh, all these WebKit vulnerabilities and so do apply to watchOS as they apply to the other operating systems. And a number of European researchers published a paper with a new attack against modern wireless networks, in particular 3G all the way through 5G. The vulnerability is part of the authentication and key agreement protocol that is being used in these networks. And well, it was supposed to better protect the privacy of the subscriber. Now, good news here, what an attacker can fix out is a little bit limited. The attacker, just like in prior attacks against these protocols, has to set up a rogue base station. Once a victim connects to that rogue base station, the attacker will be able to essentially identify the victim, figure out how many calls they make, how many SMSs they send, but the attacker will not be able to figure out the content of any of these messages. However, if the victim now leaves the area of the rogue base station, there may still be some information about this particular user that the network is forwarding back to this rogue base station. So that's the part where it gets really tricky because now, for example, the location of the subscriber is also at risk, which wouldn't be a big deal if the subscriber is in the vicinity of this rogue base station. Sadly, the flaws here are part of the protocol specification, so that's nothing that's easily patched or limited to particular implementations. 
Well, and this is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.